Welcome to the Twin Vortex Living Water Machine. Its design is based on advanced Vortex technology pioneered by Watermaster Victor Schauberger. The system has one water vortex turning clockwise and the other counterclockwise. Amongst many attributes, this multifaceted system restructures water at an atomic and homeopathic level, thus renewing vibrationally damaged water. Here we get a good look at the formation of the water vortex inside the counterclockwise tube. At the top you can see a skimmer outlet tube which removes excess water and floating particles as well as bacteria which collect at the oxygenated edges of the vortex. Panning down we can see the inlet tube and then a view of the energetic engine we will talk about momentarily. Here is the inlet which shoots water into the other tube at 90 degrees, helping to form the vortex. Now turn your attention to the triangular structure on top of the tube. This is called the triad antenna. The right antenna is composed of an amethyst stone, a metal symbol made of silver, a germanium diode interface, and a red light emitting diode. The left triad antenna is the same except for having a gold LED. The sacred geometry symbol helps translate direct universal or God energy into electronic vibrational information that is imbued into the restructured water. Now we move to the electronic heart of the machine at the bottom of each vortex tube. The first thing you might notice are the lights, then the crystal inside a tube, and last the electrodes connecting to the sides. As water runs over the gold-plated injectors, roughly 80,000 volts of a specified carrier frequency and special etheric signal harmonics from an advanced modified Tesla coil electrifies the water. The electrified water runs over a specially shaped crystal wrapped in silver wire that is connected to the triad antenna at the top of the vortex tube. The piezoelectric effect of the crystal is stimulated by high voltage and etheric electromagnetic resonance programs and restructures the water in addition to the effects of the vortex energy. Next, the colored LEDs and the gold-plated Star of David representing the dominant elements found in our bodies adds those vibrations to the water. When water first enters the system, it is routed through a carbon filter and next passes the pressure gauge and enters valves controlling flow going to the left and right vortex tubes. Finally, we look at the brain of the system. Three pulse DC carrier frequencies are selected here. The first is the musical note B going to the heavy metal trap in the mixing tube at the base of the unit. Next is the note G going to the right vortex with clockwise spin representing feminine energy. And last is the note D going to the left vortex with counterclockwise spin representing masculine energy. Together the notes D, G, and B make the G harmonic chord that reflect the energies of the sun, moon, and earth or heart frequencies respectively. The actual frequency of the notes have been adjusted slightly to be in alignment with cosmic pitch and the base human frequency of the earth. And special note, the carrier waves actually go to the modified Tesla coils first where the high voltage output containing the violet, golden, and elemental rays of energy are developed.